The awesome oscillator is a classic basic indicator developed by famous American trader Bill Willey. Some platforms list the developer's indicator in a separate group. Despite its attractive name, the oscillator differs little from the well-known MACD. Where is an instruction on plotting it on a trading asset chart? The indicator is based on convergence, divergence of moving averages. The value of a 34 period slow moving average is subtract from the value of the 5 period fast moving average. During moderate volatility in the market, the awesome oscillator belongs to the category of leading oscillators, while during high volatility, the lagging ones. On the charts, it's located in separate window below the price and represents a histogram. The histogram consists of bars of two colors, trend and green, moving relative to the central zero horizontal line. The stronger the trend and the greater the divergence between the MA. The larger the upward bars in uptrends and the downward bars in downtrend. The main signals are generated by the position of the bars relative to the middle line, the crossing and their position relative to each other. Green bars indicate that the indicator's value is growing and the red bars point to falling values. If the bars are growing and the histogram is above the zero line, it means that there is an upward market input. The histogram should be in the negative zone, below the zero line in downtrend. The indicator has proved itself in all financial markets, despite being originally created for stock trading. Today it's mainly used in currency market trading strategies as an addition to filters the signals of trend indicators. If the indicator crosses the zero horizontal line from below or above, it points to a possible trend reversal or an end of sideways movement. If the indicator values increase along each other's subsequent bar rising, it suggests a strong market impulse. Fundamentally, the awesome oscillator delves into disparately between a 34 period and a 5 period simple moving average derived from the midpoint of the candlestick. If the indicator is at the peak or through a trend reversal, is very likely. The higher the extreme is compared to the average values, the more likely it is the downtrend will reverse and vice versa. If the indicator's bars change color, then the no clear upward or downtrend movement, where is uncertainty and a flat market, where are no buy and sell signals. After you have participated using oscillator in a demo account, perhaps you will be able to identify other awesome indicator signals, as well as other ways to use it. They both belong to oscillators and help to gauge price momentum in the forex market. Both technical analysis tools are used to determine short-term momentum of a trend and momentum of its reversal. And it generates signals for trading in the currency market then crossing the zero line. Calculation is based on moving averages and there are no or both and oversold levels as in other oscillators. And of course, the indicator is displayed as histogram. The AO is based on the difference of median prices. MACD uses closing price and expectation moving averages. On some platforms, the AO has only two settings. On the MT4 platform, there are none of them at all. The basic 5 period and 34 period MAs are used without adjustments. MACD has three settings and can be adjusted. The AO cannot be tuned. A signal line and a MACD line are used as additional filters and signals tool. The AO has none of these. On the chart, the Bill Williams awesome oscillators looks almost the same as well as well-known MACD. The oscillator, oscillator is another indicator designed by Bill. This indicator also measures market movement. Where is the formula? Whereas the last five values of the OSM oscillator are averaged using the arithmetic mean formula, and the result is abstracted from the last AO value, where accelerator oscillator shows acceleration and decreasing of the current market momentum. It is used to evaluate the strength of trend movements. Both indicators are displayed as histogram. The upper chart is OSM oscillator. The lower one is accelerator oscillator, but AO is more often used to determine the general trend direction, while the AC is used to detect change in the momentum and can serve as early warning of possible trend reversals.
Another difference is that the oscillator oscillator can give signals earlier. So here is some tips for trading in the currency market using this indicator. Compare the current values of the indicator with the previous one. If the indicator deviates from the zero line more than usual, the probability of price reversal increases. Monitor the size of the bars. A sharp increase in the size of the bars indicates an increase in the trend impulse. Observe the color of the bars. If three bars of different colors appear and their size increase, a new trend may start. At the default settings, the indicator determines short-term impulses. So, it's recommended to use it in a short-term strategies with holding a trade in the market up to 5-10 candlesticks after the received signal. In trading strategies, the awesome oscillator confirms other trend indicator signals. For example, the EURUSD trading instrument chart, day 1 day frame, shows the crossover of moving averages. The fast SMA9 crosses the slow SMA24 from below, generating a preliminary signal. The price is rising above both moving averages. The body of the green candlestick is larger than the previous red candlestick, a classic upward signal. The awesome oscillator crosses a zero line after a sense of green bars, confirming an upward trend. Green bars, confirming an upward trend. By signal would allow taking profit on three or candlesticks. This is another confirmation light to the period of up to five candlesticks. Zero line crossover. A buy signal is the simplest to identify. The histogram crosses a zero line from below. A sell signal appears when the AO crosses a zero line from above. False signals appear quite often, so this algorithm is only used to confirm signals received from the other indicators. Twin Peaks A buy signal is generated if the following conditions are met. First, the indicator value is below the zero line. Second, the second swing low is formed above the first one. Third, the third low formed above the second one confirms the signal. You can look for entry points immediately after the second extreme has formed or at the momentum of the crossing the zero line. A sell signal is generated if the following conditions are met. Both highs must be above the zero line. The second high is below the first one. And the third high should be below the second high, confirming the signal. Look, this is example of the false signal. Here we have two sell signals. Three highs appeared above the zero line each lower than the previous ones. This is considered a sell signal. The various divergence emerge as there is disparity between the price extremes and the indicator values. The indicators show a downward movement, which means you should prepare to sell the asset. Both signals are false, as the price did not fall. The reason might be fundamental factors, why the awesome oscillators does not take into account. The formation of a saucer pattern on the indicator is considered a relatively big signal because of its delay. By the time it's fully formed, the price has already passed most of the trend. Therefore, it's recommended to use it only for trading on the next 3-4 candlesticks after the signal appears. Another issue is the interpretation of the signal in different sources. Most sources write that the pattern is formed by three bars. To buy the first any color, the second a red one formed below the first, and the third green above the previous red. For a short trade, the opposite is true. The second bar is green, and the third is red and higher than the second green. This shows that such combinations occur frequently and uh, are not a signal. By principle of forming a saucer pattern on the indicator with the additional filter. First, three upward moving bars are formed. For buying, three green bars should be above the zero line. For selling, three red bars are below the zero line. Three bars of a saucer pattern point to the true. The number of bars in the through does not matter. A condition of three bars is fulfilled. By the second red bar is below the third green one. To sell, the second green bar is lower than the third red one. After the proof, the bars resume moving in the initial direction. The trade is open when the indicator goes beyond the previous extreme levels. In this interpretation, a filter is added to the three columns rule in the form of preset move towards the trend and a breakout 
with elastic strand. Examples of using strategy using the awesome oscillator. Opening a long trade based on bullish momentum. First, green bars from above the zero line use a premature signal. Second, a true is appearing. Third, a bullish sell pattern has emerged. The second trend bar is below the first one, and the third green bar is above the second trend bar. Fourth, the value reached the previous high. Five, open a long trade, opening a short trade in a bearish market. First, three bars are formed below the zero line. It's prematurely signal. Second, the formation of a through has begun. Three, three bars are forming. The middle green one is lower than the first green one and the third red one. It's a saucer pattern with bearish moment. Or the value reached the previous momentum. Fifth, open a short trade. It's up to you to decide whether it's worthwhile to additionally filter the signal of the three main bars or to be guided only by them. You can ask for this question by testing this strategy on a demo account. Awesome Oscillator combination. You can use Bill Williams' Awesome Oscillator in any intraday and long-term strategy. There are several ways to combine different instruments with the Awesome Oscillator. Trend indicators are the most important in the most strategies. When the trend indicator signals is confirmed by the filtering Awesome Oscillator, you can consider opening a trade. After a price reversal, a new trend usually begins, so it will be logical to combine a trend confirming AO with oscillators that help distinguish reversal from corrections, such as RSI. Horizontal and vertical volume indicators. Volume growth indicates investor interest in the asset. Therefore, if the growth of the AO indicator bars is accompanied by increase in trading volumes, it indicates a strong trend movement. This condition is valid for both upward and downward trends. These strategies can be combined and tuned in the trading system with a moderate level of risk. However, the more complementary and filtering tools you apply, the less often the signals will appear and the lower the effectiveness of the strategy, since unprofitable signals will still appear. Then it used as a main indicator, the awesome oscillating performance signals of trend instruments. As a main indicator, the probability of false signals can be more than 40-50%. Then it used amid strong fundamental data releases, the awesome oscillator can give false data about the trend direction against the news. The most important news from the economic calendar often affects the forex market, increasing volatility and making price fluctuation wider. The fast MA in the indicator formula reacts instantly, or the next candlestick may move in the opposite direction. During elevated volatility, the SMA 34 reacts slowly to a sharp increase in the amplitude of the price move, smoothing out the sharp reaction of the indicator. The slow change in the high of the bars due to the lack of the SMA is a delay of the AO. When it is used on lower M1, M5, and 15 timeframes. If a trading platform allows you, you can experiment with the MA settings. When trading currency pairs with high volatility, it makes sense to increase the period of the fast moving average to reduce the sensitivity of the awesome oscillator to the number of false signals due to the sharp price movements. On the higher timeframes, from 4 hour one day, it's possible to reduce the period of the slow moving average for more frequent generation of signals, filtering them with the other tools. I hope this little tool will help you to boost your profit. Feel free to experiment with the indicator settings, but remember to follow your trading system's money management rules. Ask questions in comments and enjoy your trading. Bye!